five gay films that are very difficult to watch. And the reason they're gonna be difficult to watch is because they deal with the HIV and AIDS crisis. Some of them have joyous moments. It's not all, you know, pain. I mean, a lot of times, even with any sort of uh, adverse moment, there's moments of levity. Um, now, I don't wanna get like series and movies. I mean, I feel like series and movies are sort of like becoming like a gray area. I've seen series that are really, really cinematic and, and movies that aren't really cinematic anymore. And so like a series can be just as cinematic as a movie. Anyways, starting up a series called It's a Sin. And it, it puts you in the heart and center of the UK uh, perspective of this crisis. Um, and it stars Ollie Alexander from The Years and Years. And now I have to say that I'm a cold, heartless bastard and I haven't really cried or teared up at a lot of films. This is one of the few times that I actually had a visceral reaction to a movie. Uh, it really got me depressed. Uh, this is a movie that has really well-written characters, characters that you just fall in love with. The story is engaging. You just want to keep watching as the episodes go on, as difficult as they become. It's, it, it is going to probably wreck you, um, but like I said, there are there are moments in this particular series that have levity. You enjoy the ride. You enjoy spending time with these characters. And when the sh it hits the fan, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna hurt. But but that's what this topic is about. And getting to the documentary side of things because I love documentaries. We have a film called We Were Here. I remember watching this movie and and noticing the simplicity of how it was done because it's just a couple of talking heads from what I remember. And it's just people sort of just relaying their story. But their stories are so compelling. And the way they tell it is so engaging that you can visualize what they're saying and how they're putting you in their their shoes at the time. And it's it's just a simple, straightforward documentary of an account, a personal account of a couple of people who were in the heat, in the eye of the storm, rather, uh, when this was all going down. And it's incredible just how effective this movie is. But again, very hard to watch. The other documentary that I really recommend on the similar topic is is called How to Survive a Plague. And this movie is actually really interesting because it uses a lot of archival footage and it follows the um, activist group ACT UP. And it sort of makes you feel like you're there in the way that it, it, it really uses archival footage in a very effective, evocative way. And I think it's really well done um, and it really shows you how the the ACT UP group was really pushing for new drugs to be made to stop this horrible uh, crisis that was going on. Next up is a French movie called Beats Per Minute. And this movie is uh, the French perspective. So it follows ACT UP act activists in France. And it's more of a traditional, you know, fictionalized, you know, with actors sort of movie. And if you don't, if you, documentaries aren't your thing, you like more like the performative type of movie, this might be what you'll want to watch. There's an ending scene in this movie that will absolutely just be an emotional roller coaster of tragedy. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's definitely a, a, a great movie uh, and worth adding to your list. And now, lastly, I want to give you a movie that's not as heavy as those other movies, and it's a movie I saw recently. It stars the twink god, Troy Sivan. It's a movie called Three Months, and it doesn't necessarily put you in the heart of the activist movement, in the heart of the tragedy. It's just sort of like this, mo this isolated incident of this one character who's dealing with a scare of whether or not he has um, HIV. And it's about the anxiety of waiting for test results for that. And so if you're not ready to go into the deep end with those other movies, I de definitely recommend giving this a shot because it, it does have a lot of, you know, you know, sort of lightheartedness to it, even though it's dealing with a, a heavy subject. It's sort of, it kind of feels like a Love, Simon type of type of project. And yeah, and, and it'll teach you something. And, and these movies are important, even though they're difficult to watch. 
I remember, I don't know if it was Roger Ebert or, or some somebody who said this once, but they said that as difficult as any movie subject is, if if art is good, it, it can be uplifting. It could actually make you feel better and it could help you understand somebody else's perspective. And I truly believe that as difficult as these movies are to watch, they can become uplifting after you've watched them because now you experience something that you hadn't experienced. And, and just talking about how other gay people made our lives better today and acknowledge that they suffered and a lot of people suffered um, so we can have better lives. And that's worth at least two hours of your time.